This is the S&P 500 one day reading for January 30th, 2023. It's currently December 5th, 2022, 8.59 p.m. Eastern time. Um, the overall theme and behavior for the day, we have this move higher, um, e even in the face of seemingly overwhelming headwinds. So there's gonna be a lot of expectation, a lot of sentiment expecting um, us to move lower on the 30th, but for whatever reason, we move higher uh, anyways. Um, sometimes the, the futility card will start out of a decline, um, other times not so much. Um, but there'll be like negative headwinds and then behavior around the high. So this price level at the high is going to be, um, like a good price level for, uh, to utilize as a main point for a straddle or a strangle utilizing options so that you could play both sides of that price level, meaning that in the near future, we'll see a higher price level and a lower price level that, you know, notably higher and notably lower price level within close time proximity, allowing for us to trade both directions based on that as a mean point. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, behavior on the low, out of a decline, out of a period of decline, there's a fast sudden move higher marking the end of that period of decline. Um, and I'm advised to trade a, around a period of volatility that ends with a fast sudden move higher. My sense is that it's the following day that really I'll want to make that trade. But in any case, um, guys, do me a quick solid and uh, ch check out one of the links in the description. Uh, the channel needs support. We definitely need your support. Uh, everything we're doing is for free. Um, so we're not actually trading because it kind of skews our ability to, to, you know, I don't want to have any bias when I'm predicting. And really the predicting is much more my passion than the trading. So. With that said, guys, um, make sure you're following that rule of karma. And when you make some money, based on the information from this reading, send a little bit of that to one of the, the links in the description. And that's how we keep the channel going. Um, most importantly, make sure whatever you spend that money out of, you spend it out of love. <coughs> um, and then a more exciting way that you could um, support the channel is by subscribing for whatever ticker you're most interested in. Subscribe for, subscribe for the one month recurring subscription on our website, tarotfortraders.com. Um, and that'll guarantee that, that that ticker gets done every single month. There'll be a public version, but then you'll also get a private version because you paid for it. And that'll have on, on it a, an additional portion um, explicating the um, best trade that I see for that month. Um, that's not part of the, of the public version. So only those that pay and support the channel are, are seeing that. Um, with that said, thank you guys for your support. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and uh, let's get into it. So uh, in the pre-market, we have a period of sideways rotation. It looks like we're bound by, we're bound by a range on a multi-day chart there. Um, and there's a high there at the beginning of the day. It looks like we have a high, an important high and an important low um, within close time proximity to, to today. Um, so in the pre-market, out of that high, there's a period of sideways rotation. There's a sharp dip. I'm standing out within a period of sideways rotation. Um, right around the uh, open, we have uh, three crisscrosses back and forth through the same price level, confirming a bullish trend. And then um, there's a significant move <clears throat> there's a significant move it looks like lower somewhere in the first half hour um, after we have three pokes through the same price level or the same resistance level i should say um, there's a sharp drop now that sharp drop is followed by a move higher successfully turning resistance into new support and it looks like we have a new high or the same high there between roughly 11 and 12. There's a fake out, a uh, shake out, or some sort of intentional misdirection. Um, it's intended to, to you know, make, create impulsive decisions. That's what the double card usually is, and it's, it's a big move higher, okay? So it'll be a big move higher. From that success card, we need a high, and it looks like we probably move higher um, through that, like through the old high, we move higher, but um, that rally into noontime um, or wherever we see this resistance level, that this key resistance level that we fall from. After we meet it, we fall with consecutively lower spikes down, uh, up on the way down. Um, it looks like we probably move, that rally probably goes all the way into like two o'clock-ish or one to two-ish. Yeah, and we break through a resistance level at some point here, like a key resistance level on a multi-day chart. But anyhow, so there, there we we hit that um, 
key resistance on a one day chart there between roughly one and two, probably closer to two. And that bullish trend trend is halted with a sharp decline, marked by a sharp decline through a key support level on a one day chart. And we come to a day's low, a prominent low here uh, between roughly um, two to the close. Um, there is a move towards the uh, right around the close um, higher. Um, we pop through resistance level, stay above it briefly, and then we break back down through the same price level. Um, and, and it'll be another high, probably, uh, maybe the same high, or it'll just be a prominent high. Um, but we'll sell from there in the post market. We'll sell from like an overbought uh, crest. Um, and then an important male leader of, uh, or ruler of nations, I should say, is highlighted in the following day. Either that and or either, I should say, and or either. Um, <laughs> uh, the following day could be a, a male ruler or uh, like a key support level that's highlighted on a multi-day chart. But um, that's the S&P 500 for the 30th of January 2023. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Most importantly, my friends, make sure you follow that rule of karma. And I'll see you on the next one.